Hi friends, MD Vegan. I make a drink today, a live beverage, and um, I make a cacao with cashews, dates, and cacao powder. That's all. And water. <laughs> I never count the water. Because that's free for everyone, I, I think. Like the air we breathe. Well, doesn't matter. <laughs> it's just my method. That I have a take free method allows me to make a new recipe every single day. It has to be raw, otherwise when I cook, I'll have to cook with heat. But it just takes too long until I make a new recipe and really can publish it for others to enjoy. I have to do so many attempts yeah, till it's really great. So sometimes I step into the kitchen and I just make a recipe that is super, just one strike. <laughs> but oftentimes it's not that case. But with Rob, it is so easy, so much easier. That's why I love Rob so much. Well, there may be health benefits a little bit. But cooking is also healthy, can be, if you do it right. So I'm not a pure raw foodist, as though I make most of my videos raw. Because of that reason, I want to make a new recipe every day. For that it has to be raw, otherwise it wouldn't work. I don't think so. I've never seen it anywhere else. And I couldn't figure it. When I cook, it takes more time. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Especially for having a new recipe ready right through. So, and... Um, the method of take three with three ingredients, each of which can have an act. again three. It's just a little reminder, a little uh, inspiration help, I have to say, um, to make it intuitive. The three ingredients is just almost intuitive. Yeah? You don't need to count so much. Yeah, when you have more ingredients, it becomes more complicated. What went wrong, you don't find out that easily. With two or three ingredients, it's okay. It's pretty easy. It's still intuitive enough. You don't need precise measurements usually. These kinds of things make it intuitive. And <clears throat> today I'll make a, a live beverage that way with three ingredients. The water not counted, as I said, <laughs> three. <laughs> but that's up to you if you want to count or not. Um, so three ingredients is uh, the easiest cacao I would make, I would say, is that. Because cacao is bitter and cashews are rather sweet but not sweet enough you couldn't make a cacao without any sweetener i think it's rather rather not so pleasant to drink but also up to you to me i would say that's the minimum i have a large cup of cashews here and there is the first measurement i would present large cup that doesn't say so much it can be a smaller cup a larger cup you never know a cup uh, is not a cup if it's larger or smaller. So, but to say that what I experienced with my live beverages, I filter, I filter this through the nut milk bag, I'll show you in a second. That is that if I have two cups of a nut or a seed and one liter water, that is a rich, rich, thick milk, plant milk. Yeah, yeah, if you like that. One cup, so half, one cup is a light plant milk. So here I'm in between. I have a little bit more cacao, uh, cashews here, the nuts, than one cup and not two cups. So, so it's a little bit of heavier, lighter, a lighter one, but a little bit heavier. <laughs> so it's in between. That's if you want to have a heavier one, take two cups. Yeah, very similar to thick cream milk. And um, then I have cacao powder. That is, uh, the, of course, the main character here, the cacao powder. A two tablespoons or two and a half. Uh, five teaspoons, maybe, yeah. as you wish. That's totally up to you. You can make a weaker cacao or a stronger cacao, more or less cacao powder. Two tablespoons would be for a liter, <clears throat> would be a nice amount. Not too strong, not too weak. I have a little bit more here. Two tablespoons, maybe add a little bit. And I have eight dates. And this is the sweeter, is also up to you. Eight dates is something I found for a liter. Nice. <clears throat> cacao is bitter, as I said. It is an ancient um, bean. Yeah? I don't know what they categorize it. It's come from South America, I guess. And they had it always hot and bitter in beverages. They used it in a different way than we. We put milk into it, plant milk, to make delicious and sweet, usually. 
It's very nice with chili powder, for example. Chili uh, is super with cacao, it's perfect. Mint, for example, is also not sweet. Can also be used cacao, very delicious. But usually we make it sweet. That's what we know. But that is not how it how it originated. They have no sweetness, no milk in that. That would just a different different beverage they have there. So make it sweet here with dates, eight dates. But make it more or less sweet up to you. And um, it's also a beverage, cacao. It's um, yeah, it's inspirational. It makes you more enduring. Yeah, you can. Um, work longer times, you don't need to sleep that much. Yeah, That's the kind of plant that is, a, like a coffee a little bit, but, but very, very low. Yeah. Especially if it's raw, I think, to me, it is, seems to be less, um, has less of this, um, yeah, um, euphorical element, yeah. That it, it's, I think when you cook it, it it's, it's more powerful. But I have it raw here. I like it that way. It's a very gentle way. And now I put the water in there, a liter. I love cacao. I have it once in a while. I don't take it every day. Um, I'm not a big super cacao fan, a chocolate fan. I don't eat all the time. But once in a while, I love my cup of cacao. I have different recipes. This is style, a very easy one with cashews. And you don't even eat. You don't even need to put it in the filter through a filter because the cashews are so gentle and so pure you can just blend it they perfectly blend into the liquid get creamy and there's no need to filter it why i do it anyway today why i use the filter i'll tell you in a second just the blender dance to start and to make it a beverage blender dance Cashews blend pretty easy usually, and dates take a little bit longer, but that's why I dance a little bit longer. It's not yet warming up. If you blend it longer in a high speed blender, it gets warm. You can't even make it boil, it gets so hot in the blender. I didn't want to do that today. I just want to blend it and filter it. Yeah. So <clears throat> And I want to filter it because it is a, a beverage. When you filter it, it takes out the fiber. That is uh, to make it easy. Yeah, it's not 100% correct. But to make it easy, when you uh, take out the fiber, you take out that what has to be digested. The filtered beverages here, they don't need to be digested. They, the nutrients go directly to the bloodstream. And the main part of the digestion, digestive tract um, is not needed. <laughs> yeah. that's, that's why I filter it, because I want to have it uh, on a fasting day. Yeah. Sometimes at night I drink uh, plant milk on a fasting day, like a dessert. Oops. Um, and um, then the fiber is out and it can be easily used on a fasting day because that's what fasting to me is, other than reducing calories, that's what fasting usually is defined medically as, uh, is um, reducing uh, the fiber, so pausing digestion. And that is a very good thing because digestion takes the most part of the energy from the food you eat, goes just into digestion, and if you spare that, all the energy goes into other parts of the system, like uh, cleansing, uh, energy mind, uh, that means self-reflection, uh, and so forth. 
the senses get heightened from the energy and energy boost. So fasting is a wonderful thing. And um, in the end of the day, a plant milk has more calories than the juice usually, because there is fat in seeds and nuts. That fat is a high calorie and content and high energy. And so that, of course, slows down the fasting because when fasting is a reducing of energy that you intake, uh, then um, the body changes the metabolism. It switches into um, an emergency mode, a reduced uh, energy mode. It has to digest in a way to produce the not digest to produce energy in a way that is more efficient. Usually, it burns sugar, and sugar is a large molecule. That is the burning the burns burn in the cell. And everything has to be broken down into these sugars um, that can be burned as fuel in the cells of the body. But on the fasting day, um, the body has less energy, so it doesn't break it down to sugars. It uh, uh, burns um, ketones. That is called a state of the body called um, ketosis. That is an emergency state. When you have too little energy, the body saves energy and goes to this more efficient way of producing energy. The metabolism changes. So that's what happens when you take less energy, uh, take less energy, less calories than needed. Then the body does that, and that's also a very good effect uh, from the fasting. But there is a lot of theory about it, about ketosis. And right now here, I'm milking my my cashew nuts, and um, it takes a little bit longer because I have the cacao in there. The cacao sits in the pores of this nut milk bag. It's not so easy to get it out, you see. So I come back in a second when I did all that. You don't need to watch me here all the time. You see how I'm doing it, I'm milking it. And I come back in a moment when it's done, and I show you the cacao and the taste. Hey, that's my cashew cacao. It's done. Didn't taste it yet. At least not that bad, this batch. I made this before. I had found that, that it is nice to make a cashew cacao with just cashew nuts, cacao, and dates. And so I know it works. Uh, also, the measurements are what I know, but it's always a little bit different each time I make it. It's also part of the fun here. Make a new recipe every day, and I make it a little bit different every day. So I change one ingredient, change the measurements a little bit, <clears throat> more of this, more of that instead. So, so there are always so many things I learned from about the ingredients, and that's you know, what matters when I want to learn to put together quickly to put together a nice meal or something nice recipe. I have to understand, I have to know how the ingredients play together, um, and how it feels when I drink them or take them in. So I learn a lot every day. That's such a great thing to make your own recipes. I can't, um, I can't encourage you more uh, enough to. To try that, you know, making a recipe every single day. Before I made this, I um, mean, that now more than 10 years, I had always the same recipes from others, and I had no idea how, <laughs> how they were put together. And now I make it every day, it's so easy. The, uh, what I, what I um, find most important is um, really to allow myself to make it really easy. So people would say, What? That's not a recipe, right? Yeah, these are all recipes. If it's so easy, it's still a recipe <laughs> because you make one every day. You understand why why the easiest recipe is the best because it's for every day. It's not easy. You can you can also make a mistake and it doesn't work. You put ingredients in here, for example, like uh, hemp hemp seeds, super healthy. It can blow the whole thing. It gets too bitter and there is a note you don't like, so it doesn't work. So there are small things that can change everything. In a recipe, so you can't put together anything. Everything I mean, there's some things that don't work, and if you make it easy, you find out about these slowly, slowly, and that's what I do. I find out. Let's taste it now. I expect that it's chocolatey. So the cashews are taste like cream. They are most um, as what we used to know as cream. Most of us, the older ones, <laughs> at least, that's most the cashew here. And it's so nice that it takes, makes a choc nice chocolatey flavor. Let's see if it works. I try it now with a little teaspoon. Oops. Mm. There we go. 
there is slight, slightest bitter tone of the chocolate, the cacao, so nicely balanced. And what it ha what happens when I take out the fiber with the nut milk bag here, or micro seed, you can also take, I prefer the nut milk bag, it's finer. And you have this lightness in the whole thing. The lightness of the beverage, that's what I like when I make a um, beverage like that with a filter. Because you have it so light, it's a different energy, really. I make the same juice, the same milk, without the filter, without the milk in the bag, blend the cashews with dates and cacao. It tastes perfect. And it's very creamy. It's a whole different energy. The fiber misses here, it makes it light, yeah, like air. And that's a perfect thing for a fasting day to enjoy. If you put fiber in a food on a fasting day, you make it really slow. You slow the fasting down. You almost break it. You know, sometimes that's necessary or recommended. You see, it's light, it runs easily, beautiful color, not too heavy. Yeah. And filtering it is also... Um, all the ingredients are so moderate then. If I put a lot more dates or a lot more cacao powder in that, it wouldn't make it considerably harder, heavier than cacao, because the filtering takes out this heavy quality. It still is a moderate and light flavor. You make it a little bit sweeter, of course. More dates make it sweeter, uh, but not a lot. A lot is taken out by the filter, and this lightness it has, you have to experience it. I also drink that on a not fasting day. These are usually on a, fa on a regular day of eating. I um, eat a whole, whole, whole food. That means um, with fiber usually. And so, uh, but um, it can be so nice at night also uh, to have a very light drink yeah, like this. So I highly recommend. And and um, but usually I do these things on a fasting day. And it's called a gentle juice fasting. The method of fasting I use is from Yogini Kaliji. She's a founder of the Tree Yoga. That is a fantastic yoga style. It's an ancient yoga from modern times. It's a wonderful to, to practice. It's a flow comes from Yogini Kaliji into yoga, the yoga world. The flow was not in there before, and now it is all over the planet. She has uh, friends, um, and flowers, flowers all over the planet. Uh, they're all friends now together. It's a wonderful movement, and it's a great vegan advocate. And she she talked about this gentle juice fasting method, tree yoga moon fasting. Also, there's a Facebook page you can go to tree yoga moon fasting where I post all these recipes for the fasting days, the most moon fasting calendar for the best fasting days. Uh, but the general idea is once a week, one day, the night before and night after, of course. So almost 40 hours or, or so. If you count everything in just one day, it's very effective because it is so for everyone. Again, long-term perspective. Because if you are a healthy person and feel great, you can always fast a day. No problem. No question asked. By medical science. But if you do two days or more than one day, it would be recommended to see a, a medical professional to oversee that because that can harm the inner organs without even you noticing. So, but one day is safe if you feel great and healthy, of course. Yeah. Always provided. When you're not healthy, you always should consult with a medical professional, of course. <laughs> I can't say otherwise, you know. I'm not a medical professional. <laughs> so, um, that is what I do once a week. Only drinking yeah, plant milks at night to make it a little bit more gentle. And, um, and when I do it every week like that, it is so effective and so much fun. Um, I always feel great. That's the big importance because if I feel great, the body begins to heal itself. It's a natural capacity of the body to heal itself. It's normal. It cleanses itself, it heals itself, and it does it all when it feels great. And feeling great is nothing else but feeling the energy flowing through the body freely. That is the idea of the flow that you are aware of this energy flowing freely in the body. That's what we do in Tri Yoga. We go into the flow, and there is a technique for that. But that's not the topic now. It's very simple, but ineffective. But the idea of the gentle juice fasting is to feel great, great always, to do that with juices, fresh juices. You can make it yourself, 
I was making a juice recipe every fasting day once a week. I make a plant milk, for example, and then you have the delight. It makes it easier to feel great. Yeah, you can also fast with water only or you know, without eating. That People are doing that all too, but I prefer the gentle way that works for everybody. And that makes it so effective and safe. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you like, like my video, subscribe, and do vegan on YouTube. Have another recipe every single day. Let's enjoy endless vegan variety. And find me on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, and X.